for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff of the Mad Chiefs, as always. Got a offense for you guys today out of the Baltimore Ravens playbook. This is an ebook that I just put out. If you guys don't know, I've got about three or four ebooks out by now. I think it's more like five, actually, if I include my custom playbook. But all that stuff's linked in the description below. The offense I'm going to show you today, though, I'm not sure if it's in any other playbook. I haven't looked yet. I know the Ravens is loaded with rare formations and rare plays that you really can't find anywhere else. So it really wouldn't surprise me if this is only in the Ravens. But I'll try to put in the description how many playbooks this is in. The offense itself is the normal Y off close. This offense will work on current gen and next gen, although there's a slightly different way to home run cover three. But other than that, this offense is going to home run every single defense in the game. If you guys want to see more out of the Ravens playbook, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section as always. Other than that, let's go and get right into the plays. Now, like I said, there's three plays. Three plays I'm going to show in this video, and I will home run every single defense in the game. Now, as far as what plays you use what plays for, it's really simple. It's very easy to remember. The Y, the y stick dig is your cover two man or cover two zone anything cover two the y stick dig will be a one play touchdown that includes cover six cover nine coverages like that where half the coverage is a cover two you just have to isolate which side it is and run against that your double slants a cover three one play touchdown it's also a very good play against cover one man but i'm going to call it just a cover three one play touchdown whether you're going against current gen or or, or next gen you know consoles whether against current gen or next gen consoles, this is a one play touchdown against cover three, but it has a very different setup depending on which console you're on, which I will go over later in the video. Then escape is a cover four one play touchdown where there's cover four palms, cover four quarters, or cover four drop regular. This is a one play touchdown against all three. So you have a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in these three plays. If I were to show a fourth play, and I'm not sure if I will, I'll probably have extra plays on my Patreon on my join out community tab. The mesh spot would definitely be on there. We're gonna start off with cover two like we always do we're gonna go with the y stick dig and as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsors aoeah.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and use my discount code money to get three percent off it's already the cheapest coins on the market now as always you're going to try to run these plays from the hash mark to the open side of the field it's just going to be best practice it's not 100 percent necessary but it's going to be helpful against cover two this motion here is going to be the most consistent. I'm going to make this motion with a couple different plays, so it shouldn't stand out too much to your opponent. I'm going to motion him in. I'm going to put him on the street. That's all I really got to do. And this wire out here is just going to completely destroy this outside. Now, I don't really have my fastest guy. I could have Hollywood Brown out here running this. Obviously, that would be even easier. But you can see, even with a decent speed guy like DeVerne, it's just it's just super seriously easy in a, a one-play touchdown against cover, too. If I really want to, I could also put my A around and drag, give myself a little bit of a check down. This would probably be the ideal setup, block the running back. Although the play gets going so instantly, it's like I don't even have to do all that extra dressing. I mean, this is just something that just busts out in the open uh, really quickly. So a very easy play against cover two. But don't look now, this play is also a very good play against cover two man, which typically isn't the case. Let's go on this pick cover two man. Now we're going to go and do the exact same setup. We're going to put this guy on a street here. Block my running back one more time, put my around to drag. Like I said, this is best practice. You're going to see, you get a very favorable animation, even though I have one of the best safeties in the game, one of the best man coverage safeties in the game, in Tyron Matthew covering DeVerne, a very poor receiver. Like I said, exact same setup, whether you're running against cover two man, cover two zone, doesn't matter. The Y route just doesn't really get jammed, and he just gets outside here, above the safety even on this particular play. You can see right there, we do get caught that time, but you can see how explosive this is. We'll go and we'll do that one time against a uh, dime, so we can have a cornerback doing that. Just to show you guys, it's going to be the same result. Like I said, I'm only motioning this guy and put him on a street because I really want that uh, that safety to get, to get pulled back as much as possible. But you're going to see, same thing. He does not get jammed. And because of that, he just gets outside and gets a very easy one-play touchdown. An even easier one because, honestly, Tyron Matthews is probably a better cornerback than the fourth cornerback on the on anybody's team, really. So you can see how that play is glitching out, uh, you know, so you can see how glitchy the first play is against cover two. How about cover three? Next play we're going to have is the double slant. Like I said, this is going to work whether it's current gen or next gen. It's just a very different setup. We're going to start off with current gen because that's what we're on right now. This is another play where you're going to want to run it from the uh, hash mark to the open side of the field, but it's to the other side this time. And you're going to make a unique motion here. This is the only time on, on you're going to make this motion. You're going to motion out this tight end. 
I'm gonna motion out that tight end. I'm gonna put the B route here on streak or fade once again. I don't think it really matters. But you're gonna see number one, these this cornerback is well out of position. And the fact that these two zones are right next to each other, I think they just get really crossed up in communication. As you can see, right off the line, we got uh, Mark or Hollywood Brown just speeding right up the streak. And if you watch the cornerback, we'll go to the replay. If you watch the cornerback, I don't know what happens there. But he just, like I said, I, I really think it's because these two zones are so close to each other pre-snap, they don't know what to, how to communicate with one another because they just both end up on an island instantly in the wrong direction. I mean, this is, you know, this is a cover three, one play touchdown, eight yards down the field. You know what I mean? Like he's instantly gone as the second he gets off the line because this corner these cornerbacks just kind of bug out and i could throw the ball right now i could bullet pass lead right now outside and with this speed i'm gone for an easy one play touchdown from anywhere on the field we'll try to do that actually we'll actually we're going to try to throw the ball uh as quick as possible to see how quickly we can throw this ball and get a one play touchdown because this is something that's just you know look at that boom we're out ball's out nobody's in my area i still find it's best probably to hold it as long as possible um, to get that explosive animation because you never know your opponent could could take a better angle than a computer online but you can see how explosive this is i mean this is very easy if this is any you know if it's a man coverage a lot of times cover threes look like man cover ones the slants are obviously going to beat that so just keep that in mind but like i said i like to throw it as late as possible you can see how that safety definitely catches up though the longer the ball's in the air so it's really up to you when you want to throw it but it's a one play touchdown from anywhere now there's only one difference when it comes to current gen compared to next gen and that's the cover three one play touchdown so for that we're going to go with the double slant it's still the same you know cover three it's easy to remember but the double slant is different on how it beats cover three so let's go and let's pick the double slant the only things you really got to remember is you got to run this from a hash mark uh, to the open side of the field like right here i'm on the right hash mark running it to the open side of the field you got to make that same motion in that we made in a lot of plays and then you got to put this x route on a streak or a fade i find the fade is a little bit better sometimes i feel like the fade just avoids um, getting zone chucked a little bit more uh, then i'm going to block the running back although that's not really critical i just want extra blocking all i really have to do then i'm going to slide my protection to the left a little bit because i find it's going to be best for the pass lead to roll in this direction and then you can see here uh you, you know once again there's there's an issue i've explained this all the time when it comes to uh cover through one play touchdowns on current gen consoles they're very different now there's a couple things that you have to watch for when you do this number one you have to watch this cornerback which on this particular play and most cover three one play touchdowns that I've put out like this on current gen, they all do the same thing. Essentially, this cornerback here will eventually stop. The point of that is, I mean, the real reason that they're stopping has something to do with this crossing route. Uh, like they're supposed to take that crossing route on, although realistically, he doesn't do anything. He just stops completely uh, on this play. So like I said, super glitchy formation. But ultimately, uh, this particular play, once that cornerback stops, you bullet and pass lead away from the free safety. Now, there's a couple more things you got to do. Number one, for whatever reason you have to wait for this receiver to pass about 33 yards maybe 30 yards i'm not exactly sure maybe 31 yards because there's some weird glitch in this game where you can only pass lead before 20 yards and after i think 31 i'm not really sure the exact number but to be safe it's close it's better to throw it like 35 yards that's the rule of thumb that a lot of people have been going by but ultimately i'll show you that in a second how it does not let you pass lead if you throw it too early but if you make that pass lead outside you can see it's a very easy touchdown one play touchdown against cover three on, on current gen so I'll run that again, and I'll run it, um, I'll throw the pass lead before he reaches 30 yards, just to show you guys uh, what I'm talking about, how it does not, does not let you pass lead. Basically, it just throws it right up the center there. So it's a very timing-based play, but it's very easy to do. As long as you follow the, the, the timing rules, um, you know, it's, it's not very hard to, to hit this one-play touchdown. I've actually been doing this since last year. As you can see right here, once again, throw the ball a little bit early, but there didn't even matter. I threw the ball early, didn't get the pass lead, but it still was a one-play touchdown to Sammy Watkins. Who isn't even, if I had, you know, if I had Brown running that, Marcus Brown running that, uh, Hollywood Brown running that, it'd be even easier. But you can see, I mean, even without the pass lead, it still kind of gets there. So here we go once again. Like I said, that's once again, pass lead was non-existent because that's too early, but it's still a one-play touchdown. So very easy play, probably one of the easiest one-play touchdowns in current jam when it comes to cover three. So now we got cover two, we got cover three. How about cover four? There's two types of main cover fours. I'm gonna go over um, the actual cover four uh, drop real quick, although I, I picked the wrong formation there. We're gonna go over cover four drop contain first. It's another play where you're gonna run it from the hash mark to the open side of the field. This is a very unique one-play touchdown I'm about to show you guys. Typically cover fours have to isolate with like the B 
be your outs doing. You know what I mean? Like cover four one play touchdowns. I go out and I'll emulate uh, a cover four one play touchdown. Like this is typically a cover four one play touchdown, something like this. Although the B route's not really that route, but this is typically the type of route that you have to hit a one play touchdown against cover four. You have to typically wait for that B route to cross the, you know, cross split through the safeties and all kind of stuff. Although you can see right there, it didn't work out because of the pass pro. I'm pretty sure the reason I'm showing this is because I'm pretty sure you can do this. Although I, I haven't done this, this is not the one play touchdown I plan on showing you guys. But let's go and let's do this again. Like I said, the B route there, all I have to do is buy a lot of time, and that B route will eventually cross uh, and make a play. Well, you can see right here, it didn't work out. So, like I said, that's your typical one play touchdown against cover four. That's not the plan today. Today's one play touchdown against cover four, we're going after that Y route. So, we're going to make that same motion. We're going to run this from the hash mark, we have the same, make that same motion, bring him in, put him on a streak, put the A route on a drag. The running back, we will block, although we Really don't have to because this play is going to be going instantly as you're going to see this y route here just gets right outside the cover for cornerback i don't know if i'll hit a one play touchdown with the verne that's the only thing he might not be fast enough but you can see how he gets outside and when i squish this formation up that cover for cornerback comes in and he actually acts like a man on watkins so it gives me that outside release on the safety like i said i'm going to get it with Deverna. i don't need to, to cheat and get it with um get it with anybody else as you can see right here we get that one play touchdown we're going to get it like I said, I don't want to have to change the Marcus Brown, but you can see this is easily a one-play touchdown with the right receiver. So we only got one defense left that we haven't hit a home run against, and that's cover four quarters, which is a pretty popular defense this year. Uh, and we're going to glitch that out extra heavy because we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick that cover four quarters. Cover four quarters, cover pounds, pretty much the same thing. No adjustments needed at all. And this B route is just a cakewalk past this uh, cornerback, which typically the cornerback follows the entire way. So very easy play there. We'll go ahead and do that again because it's act it actually can be very glitchy. We'll go ahead and we'll pass block the running back as well because we don't need him doing that. And then like I said, you can see this guy here is just gonna roast uh, just about any cover four quarters coverage. I've had a glitch cover four quarters a lot more than that. This play also really depends on where you run this from the, uh, you know, what side of the field. As you can see, if I run it from this side of the field, from this hash mark, you're going to get a very different coverage assignment than if you run it from the other hash mark, which I'll go ahead and I'll move it over. That there, the cornerback was covering, where here the safety is going to cover it based off of just where we are on the, on the field. So now we're going to run it from the short side, and you're going to see how, you know, safeties are typically even worse. As you can see, you know, this is a much better play. Uh, even with Tyron Matthew, one of the best safeties in the game, one of the best, you know, cover safeties in the game. It's a lot glitchier on the short side, too. Sometimes the safety is like he doesn't even know who to cover, as you see right here. I mean, he's just, he just roasted that by like 10 yards. And it's because Tyron Matthew gets lost uh, in his assignment. I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more from the Ravens or more passing plays from the Ravens, specifically either from this formation or from other formations, like the Gun Bunch is one I'd Woo! prefer to do pretty soon, uh, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Shut out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bits and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.